So welcome back to the next episode. This time I want to compare two jet wing designs. One time the SUX with its forward swap wings and the second time this is a flex jet with regular jet design. It's leaned on F16 or F18 wing design. This jet is from my bro Martin. Ganz liebe Grüße. And I would say let's go to the airfield and see how these two aerodynamic designs work. So, let's go! So, here we are at the airport and here is the flex jet. The camera technic is already installed, the front cam and also the rear cam. Also these little stripes are installed and Martin, the pilot, <laughs> is making himself ready and in some minutes we can start. Let's go!
Sehr gut. So, we saw both jets performing in the air and both of them has very good slow flight capabilities. And now we want to take a closer look to the aerodynamic specialties, why they can perform uh, or why they can fly so low. So, uh, so so slow. Let's start with the with the flex jet. Yeah, I painted the, the the top view here. The aerodynamic specialties on the flex jet is the strake here. This here are two strakes. Strakes are um, small wings in front of the of the main wing. Yeah. and then we got also here a sawtooth. Yeah, this is a step forward. Uh, on the deep of the wing and let's see what they do. Yeah. Um, at first we take a look to the strake. The strake is starting a wake turbulence that goes like this. Something like this. And this turbulence brings energy into the airflow so that we still have lift yeah? because the problem while flying slow is there is not enough energy in the airflow to lift up the plane. Yeah? So we need more energy and this energy is generated by this vague turbulence made by the strake. And the same we got here on the sawtooth. Yeah? Here is um, the same. Here is also done a vague turbulence and this brings again uh, energy into the airflow because on this normal wing design um, the lift is breaking up starting from the outside normally so this we can see also in the video when we fly slow with this jet it starts shaking along the longitudinal axis yeah this is cause it loses its lift um, at first on the outside of the wing yeah and so we need these two um, wake turbulences to keep the lift as long as possible on the jet. Yeah? And uh, the second thing we need for flying slow is also the um, direction stability. Yeah? And for this we got a very big vertical stabilizer. But this stabilizer is a little bit blocked by the fuselage itself yeah? when we fly with high angle of attack. And that's why we got underneath also these two uh, veins. Yeah? These uh, veins work in the same way like the vertical stabilizer. They are underneath on the fuselage. So um, we have a clear airstream to them and we can hold the direction of the jet. Yeah? This is how um, the aerodynamic concept works on the flex jet. So, and uh, let's go to the SUX. You see, this is a complete different um, aerodynamic concept. Yeah? We got the forward swept wing, and the sense of this wing at first is that the, that the airflow don't go to the outside and disturbs the, the lift. The airflow goes to the inside when we fly low. Yeah? This we can see very good here in this video when we compare the airflow uh, on both jets while flying low. We see, um, we, we can see this on the red stripes. The airflow is going to the outside on the flex jet and it is going to the inside on the SUX uh, R, yeah, cause of this forward swept wing design. And when the when the air when the when the airflow goes to the inside, it stays longer on the wing, generates lift, and we also um, can work with the ailerons because there is the airflow all around them. Yeah, this is this is the first on this um, on this forward swept wing design. Then we also got our strakes here again. Yeah, the strakes generate again our wake turbulence yeah, to, to keep the, the lift all alive. And we got these um, leading edge slats. 
And these leading edge slats, um, I explained uh, in another video. You can uh, see it below in the description, the link, and also in the experimental um, video folder on my channel. Um, this this um, leading edge slats um, create the same effect like the strake. They bring energy into the airflow. Yeah, we got a nozzle. Yeah, this 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 slat is nothing more than a small nozzle, and on this nozzle the air is accelerated, so it got more energy and it can stay longer um, on the wing wing and create lift. Yeah. And uh, you see this, um, this jet has a very, very big fuselage, yeah? <laughs> a very big fuselage. The fuselage is also generating a lot of lift itself. But when we fly with high angel of attack, um, this fuselage also blocks the airflow um, on, the, on the vertical stabilizers. This is why this jet has two of them very big stabilizers and they are also sitting as much on the outside as possible yeah that that they um, are not completely blocked um, by the fuselage when we fly with high angel of attack and also underneath we got um, these um, fins these uh, lower fins they work on the same way like these vertical stabilizers and stabilize the jet while flying very slow and with high angel of attack. Yeah, um, these are the two concepts of these um, jets. Uh, if you have any questions, you can write it below in the comments. Yeah, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video, learned maybe a little bit of it. And I would say, see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>